Hi everyone. Um, I recently did a uh, detailed breakdown and review of this hilt right here. This is the uh, Luke Skywalker Book of Boba Fett hilt, um, which is designed by Anakin Scar Starkiller and manufactured by TXQ. Um, I just thought it would be interesting to see it side by side with a couple of other Luke heroes I have in my collection, uh, just to go through all the differences. Um, so on the top here, this is the uh, the original Hero V1, which is the one from Return of the Jedi. Um, this, as you may know from previous videos, is uh, present in two pickup lines in the movie. Uh, one of them is when Vader is handling it and says, I see you have constructed a new lightsaber. And the other one is... Um, a deleted scene uh, which was only released on the 2011 Blu-ray uh, with Luke in the cave uh, constructing that new lightsaber. Uh, this would then go on to be the the kind of the official version of Luke's belt hanger even though it appeared in only those two pickup scenes um, but this was adopted in the 90s as kind of Luke's official lightsaber and all subsequent designs, replicas, toys everything else, even official kind of productions uh, would take their design based on that one here. So this one is, as I said, the Book of Boba Fett version. The one I don't have is the Mandalorian Season 2. So I've got Return of the Jedi, I've got Book of Boba Fett, I've got this one, which is the one seen in Episode 8, The Last Jedi, in the flashback scene where Luke is holding his saber over a young Ben Solo. All of them, as you can see, take the, the design concept from the original V1 hero from Return of the Jedi. They all have the same kind of brass, copper neck, uh, the grenade section, uh, the control box with the red and green arrow LEDs, um, some kind of a track, um, clamp card and a triangular D-ring. So just to look at the differences first of all, so we'll start from the top and work ourselves, work, work downwards as usual. So you can see that the Book of Boba Fett one here has a very similar face of the emitter to the original, where it's sort of a solid machined flat disc with that nipple. The original has just a bit more machining. Whereas the last Jedi one looks completely different. It's got these little round vents, a little bit like Obi-Wan Kenobi's um, prequel lightsaber. You can also see that the emitter itself has changed slightly, so Return of Jedi and Book of Boba Fett again look very similar in terms of dimensions. This one might be a little bit deeper down here. But overall, the cup depth is very similar. Whereas compared to, again, the TLJ model, it's a much deeper cup. And of course, it has an extra little shoulder there on the top for the events. Um, now we move to the neck, so obviously the Return of the Jedi neck was aluminium and it was painted, it was painted this copper gold which then over time became chipped as you see here. This is how the prop looks as of today. As all subsequent kind of hero iterations from Lucasfilm were not uh, painted aluminium were either made of brass or bronze or copper or something like that. Both of these um, replicas are made of brass for both the B Book of Boba and the TLJ. Uh, I forgot to say this is a Dave Parkin hilt. This, as I said, is TXQ and this is the Dennis Lukianov Creepy Uncle. We can also see that there's a real difference in the, the overall size 
of the hilts. If you just look at the TLJ one, it's much thinner compared to the other two. Just the body is thinner. Whereas again, the Book of Boba Fett is much closer to the original. Moving on to the grenade section. The original hero was machined in a way that it had nine rings, but they were uneven. So you can see one, two, three, four, five are a bit wider. Number six is thinner. Seven is again wider. Eight and nine are again thinner. So they're uneven. And that's accurate for the original hilt in Return of the Jedi. The later ones were all idealized, so they were all even. This is the Book of Boba Fett one, and they're fairly wide, perhaps not as wide as the wide ones from Return of the Jedi. Not quite as wide. They're probably a closer match to the thinner one or just a little bit wider than the thin one. And in the TLJ, again, they're all equal, but they're very wide. But the grenade, the grip itself is much thinner. So the diameter of this hilt is much kind of slimmer than the other two. Reminds me a lot of the prequel hilts. It's much more comfortable to hold. Okay, moving on to the control box. So this is the original, Return of the Jedi. Green and red arrows. This red arrow became chipped over time. And the two slotted screws, the black buttons, some machining marks. And what sets this apart from all the rest is the presence of this extra layer here, this gray rail which almost looks like a letter T sideways. Then there are these top layer, uh, or top rails, which there is significant debate about these, whether they're copper or brass that's been painted copper. But whatever the case, they are copper colored rails. And then the clamp card has uh, copper tracks over a kind of a translucent almost a blue-green board, because this vintage board is a from a vector board, and that's the accurate color. It's a very light blue, almost a green blue. So that's the way the original one looked. Subsequent ones, that's a good book of Boba Fett. I mean, I'm not really sure how accurate this clamp card is, but it looks a fairly standard kind of copper against black, shiny black. The rails are not copper, they're much more brass in appearance, darkened brass. The button is much shorter. Just look at that comparison. And the arrows are kind of a different size. And they're much closer together than in Return of the Jedi. And they're kind of a different shape. They are kind of thinner, if that makes sense, or shorter. Again, Return of the Jedi. The triangles themselves are a different shape. Book of Boba. And here is TLJ. Again, the box itself is narrower. Brass rails. Again, once again, there's no gray rail underneath, just like this one. Actually, there is one in here, isn't there? Well, it's not really a gray rail, it's just an extra step. So this one is slightly closer to the Return of the Jedi. Look, in, in that there's like an extra tier. Whereas this one is just a single step. Again, brass on black and a black, a longer black 
button, just like Return of the Jedi, similar, perhaps even longer. The arrows look completely different. They are huge compared to the original, and they are closer together. Here it is against the Book of Boba Fett. You can see the much bigger and a little bit wider apart, but not as wide as Return of the Jedi. Okay, booster section, nothing to say about that, obviously. Um, pommel, let's look at the cubes. So, in Return of the Jedi, um, you can see that the, the bottom incline is much kind of more, well, so the top part of the cube is slanted, but not as much as the lower one, so it's a much steeper incline. Let's take a look at Book of Boba Fett, if that's the same. Yes. I think I have this upside down. I do have this upside down, my apologies. This should be up here, that should be down there. That's fine, I'll fix it later. But yeah, it's the same. It's the same design. Although the square looks more... It almost looks more square. This looks a little longer, like they're rectangular. TLJ, I'm not too sure. Yep, same again. Again, a slightly steeper incline on the bottom, but again, more kind of longer and rectangular, a bit like Return of the Jedi, but perhaps even longer. Yeah, definitely longer. And finally, tri ring. So, this is the accurate tri ring for Return of the Jedi. Um, looks similar to Book of Boba in terms of kind of shape and thickness. It's worth mentioning that the tri ring I have on the TLJ is not accurate, and um, Dennis will be making a new run of these with a slightly more accurate tri ring. But the position of the tri ring is completely different in all three. So, Return of the Jedi, it points almost towards a control box, but it's just a little bit off center to the left. That's how it should be in Return of the Jedi. In Book of Boba Fett, it points towards, it almost lines up pretty much perfectly with the arrows. So that way, compared to Return of the Jedi. And then Last Jedi, it's the opposite direction points away from the arrows, slightly to the left. Although, again, um, that's how it is lined up in the movie. Um, but I have seen this prop on display, and it wasn't lined up like this, it was lined up the other way. So I think that the pommel on the original hilt is also adjustable, like, like this one. But yeah, nice and quick, just a comparison just to see all the differences obviously all of these hilts mando book of boba fett tlj all the rest of them are all kind of inspired uh, by the original v1 hero from return of the jedi and i'm sure we'll probably see more of them with future disney plus uh, releases who knows but yeah i thought i'd make a quick comparison just to see how they look next to each other uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video and thanks for watching and see you in the next one.